Hi everyone. This is the exercise 10.4 in the Math Learner's Book, page 163. Today you are going to learn the multiplication with table 5. So before you start this exercise, you must know the table 5. Count in 5. So here is the table 5. 5 multiply 1 equal 5. 5 multiply 2 equal 10. 5 multiply 3 equal. You should find the right number. Okay. So you must add 5 each time. Okay. What is 10 plus 5 is 15. Okay. Same here. Again, you must add 15 plus 5 because this is the table 5. 20. Again, 5 multiply 5 equal 25 because you add 5 in the 20. Okay. So, 5 multiply 6 equal 30 because 25 plus 5 equals 30. So what is 35 plus 5 equal 35? How many times? 7 times. 5 multiply 7 equal 35. 5 multiply 8 Yes, please. 35 plus 5. Okay, 35 in your head, 5 in your fingers. So count 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So keep big number in your head, small number 5 on your fingers. So 40 plus 5. 45. Now, this is the divide. Okay. So, same here. So, same like a plus and minus, inverse. What is the biggest number? 5, 2, or 10? 10. 10 is the biggest number. I'm going to choose here. Then write divide. Okay. So, 10 divided. 5 equals 2. Okay, when you have 10 candies and divide in, when you make them group 5, you will find 2 people, okay, or 2 groups. 15, what is the biggest number? 15, 3, or 5? 15 is the biggest, it should be first, then divide. You can choose 5 again. When you make groups with 5 or 15 things, you will find 3 groups. Okay. Again, 20. Right here, 20. Because 20 is the biggest. 20 things. And uh, 5 equal 4. In this way, you can multiply and divide with the fact family. Okay, the question number two, you need to find, find the inverse division. Okay, so how can we get inverse for the multiply and divide? So what is the biggest number, 12? I'm gonna write 12 first. Okay, this is multiply. When you do inverse, you should be opposite, like divide. And when you see divide, you must use multiply. So 12 divide, you can use 6. So equal, when you make group 6 of 12 things, you will find two groups like this. So again, 40. 
is the biggest. Okay, you can use 10. So when you make uh, 10 groups of 40 things, it gives us four groups. Now here multiply. So what is the opposite of multiply? Divide. So eight divide eight equal one. In this way, you can find inverse. Okay, here we got question number six. You can find uh, multiply division facts, right? Like, uh, okay. Uh, look at these coins. There are four uh, coins, right? So, one, two, three, four. How many coins? Four. Multiply. Okay. Now, each coin has five in it. Look at these. So it's mean we should write here five. Okay, what is the five multiply four? Equal 20. Okay, and now we can make it divide like 20 is the biggest. Divide four equal five. So in this way, you can make a division multiplication effects. Okay, so here we got question number three. What is two multiply four? Okay, so is eight, one multiply three is three. Now 14 divide two. Make 14 parts and divide into two, you're gonna get seven. And okay, you need to write equivalent to finding one by two or one by four. So, guys, when you see the two in the divide, it's mean half. It's mean half because you have eight candies, you divide into two children. So we say it's half. Each boy will get four and four. Okay. And uh, again, here is two. That shows it is a half. You have 10 candies, divide into two, each get five. But when you see four, it is a quarter that shows one by four because 12 candies you give to four children and each boy get three candies. Same here quarter, one by four because you divide the food into four children. We say quarter, okay? It is a quarter. It is the quarter. And this, this is the half. You must divide into two sizes. So here is the today's class. Thank you so much for watching.